cornbread is one of my all-time favorite side dishes. I love it next to soup, next to chili, salad, and of course, barbecue. I'm gonna show you how it's done and you're gonna love this recipe. Okay, let's ruffle some feathers, shall we? Let's compare a classic Southern style cornbread to that more cakey cornbread with a little bit of sugar in there. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some Southern folks down there that like a little bit of sugar in there, but if you look at the very classical nature of cornbread, there really isn't sugar in there, but I wanna compare both of them. They're super, super easy to make, honestly done in no time. Let's get to prepping, sound good? Let's bake. A very classic Southern style cornbread recipe all starts with preheating a cast iron skillet. And yes, it should be a cast iron skillet in the oven. But the first thing that we do want to add in there is some rendered bacon fat. I hope you've got some lying around. If for some reason you don't, you could use butter. But again, that wouldn't be traditional in this style recipe. We are going right over to the oven and we are going to crank it on to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're just gonna preheat it. When it's done, we'll be able to cook in it. So now let's head over to our bowl because we wanna make our batter and I'm gonna be using white cornmeal. If you look at the history of this recipe, it is classically white cornmeal. If you don't have access to white, of course you can use yellow cornmeal. In fact, you may have some recipes where it does use yellow cornmeal. Now we're gonna add in some baking powder. Next, a little bit of salt. Now we're going to add in some all-purpose flour, and believe it or not, that procedure is even optional as there are several recipes that have zero flour. So whisk all of this goodness together until it is completely combined. And now what we want to do is add in vegetable oil to this mixture, going to provide some fat, some flavor, followed up with some full fat, and I mean full fat, cultured buttermilk. This is going to bring about so much goodness. If you notice, there are no eggs in this recipe. This is it. Super, super simple, incredibly traditional. So whisk this together using a whisk, or if you don't want to do that, you can absolutely use a rubber spatula, fold everything together. It should sort of be a thicker pancake style batter. That's the consistency you're looking for. So here we are in a good spot. Let's go ahead and set it to the side. Hopefully our cast iron skillet is preheated. It is. Let's bring it out. Just going to set it on a small marble slab so I don't ruin my quartz countertops. And then at this point, use a rubber spatula and get all of that goodness into there. Scrape every last little morsel. We want this to be nice and thick. This looks absolutely fantastic. Once it is in there, just smooth out the top a little bit just so it's even. Go back to your oven. Again, 425 degrees Fahrenheit for in between 15 and 18 minutes. After that time, let's grab our cornbread. Let's bring it out. It is awesome. Got a nice little brown on here. If you wanted to even go further, you absolutely can. It should be firm when it's finished cooking and a nice brown outside edge, just like you see here. Can't wait to try this. Honestly, it looks amazing. It smells incredible in here. It's a nice dense cornbread, a little bit heavy, just the way it's supposed to be done, my friends. But of course, I promised you the alternate style with a little bit of sugar. Here we go. In a separate large bowl, we're going to start off by adding in some eggs, followed up by adding in some melted unsalted butter. Remember, we control the salt content in our recipes. Next, some full fat cultured buttermilk. Go ahead and pour that in there and then grab a whisk and completely combine this together. It might be a little lumpy. No problem. It's perfect consistency as long as it's whisked together. Now we're going to add in our all-purpose flour, the very controversial sugar. Go ahead and pour that in there. And next, I've got some yellow cornmeal. This is about a small grind. Um, it's not finely ground. It's definitely not medium. It's right in between there. Next, hit it with some baking soda, a little bit of baking powder, actually quite a bit of baking powder, and finished up with some salt. Again, grab your whisk, bring it back over. We're going to mix until everything is combined. You could also use a rubber spatula to fold the ingredients together. It's completely up to you. Now grab a separate 10-inch cast iron skillet. Make sure it is well seasoned, my friends, so nothing sticks here. And then scrape all of that goodness into that cast iron skillet. We're just going to keep it classic here with the skillet. You could also probably cook this in a 13 by 9 casserole dish. Go ahead and flatten out the top like this. Perfect. Over to the oven. This is only at 400 degrees. It's going to take in between 25 and 28 minutes. 
What we want to do then is bring it back out. You got a beautiful golden brown top, probably from that sugar in there. It should be firm in the center. It's absolutely gorgeous. Get that nice cakey feel. So let's go ahead and plate up in slow-mo. I'm just going to take a slice out of each of these. If you want, and totally up to you, serve it up with a little bit of butter, a little bit of molasses, and for sure, flip that cornbread over. Make sure you got a nice crusty brown bottom. And my oh my, we got to see a few beauties before we eat it. First off, it doesn't matter which kind you like. Again, it is all about those fundamental cooking techniques and putting them into practice so all of your homemade food from scratch is absolutely delicious, and it always is. But without further ado, let's get in it. That was a massive bite, probably too big. So let's start over. It's very good. It's buttery, but there's no butter in there. Remember, it's from that bacon fat and a little bit of oil. Super tasty. I mean, super, super tasty. Let's try the other one here. Definitely different, much cakier. You get a little bit of that sweetness in there. And I can imagine that this would be really good with anything spicy. If you had a super spicy chili, that sweetness in there to help offset some of that heat or a barbecue, you have lots of savory umami style food. You get a little bit of sugar in there from this cornbread will be a nice combination. This to me, this other one would be amazing with like ham and bean soup or just ham and beans in general, anything really salty. This would complement so good. And another thing, the classic Southern style cornbread is much more crumbly. It falls apart a little bit easier. There's not that flour to help keep it together. Both are incredible. Honestly, you would love either of these. They are so dang tasty. I can't wait to see which one you like and definitely try them both. If you've learned something, please like and share this video and check out this video right here. I made it just for you. We'll see you on there.